Hi, I'm Rob at the Hay Needle Fulfillment Center in Monroe, Ohio. This is a short video on the assembly of the Richmond Hall Tree. The estimated time on this assembly is around 45 minutes, and the tools you will need are an Allen wrench, which is provided, and a Phillips head screwdriver, which is not provided. After you have all your pieces laid out, locate your instructions. On the front, you'll find a parts and hardware list. Take a brief inventory to make sure you have all your pieces needed for this assembly. First, take two of your dowel rods labeled as F. We're going to use them to connect our pieces 11 and 12 together. On the holes of 12, on each end, place one of your dowel rods and slide 11 and 12 together like so. Then get your piece nine. And using your hardware, these little screws labeled as K, we're going to screw one into each hole and tighten into place using our Phillips head screwdriver. Now we'll take our piece labeled six with our mirrors and line up with our pieces 11 and 12. Then take your brace labeled as eight and using again our tiny screws labeled as K, we're going to tighten one into each hole through eight and into our pieces six and 11 and 12. Use a screwdriver to tighten. Now using four of our dowel rods labeled as F, we're gonna place one into each hole in the back of our piece 13. Now place 13s with your pegs in to the bottom like so. And from the top, using our hardware, which are these screws labeled as I, we're gonna place one into each of the five holes and tighten into place using our Phillips head screwdriver. After you tighten all of your screws down, repeat this step for your second piece 13 on your opposite side. Take four of your dowel rods F and with your mirror side faced up, place one into each hole at the top. Then take your piece one and with the holes in the back, place on the dowel rods and using your hardware, these screws led with his J will place one in each of the five holes and tighten into place using our Phillips head screwdriver. For our next step, we'll be attaching our pieces three and two to our piece five. Lay down piece five and place piece three with your peg holes facing up. Line the holes in five with the holes in three. And using our hardware, first our bolt labeled as A, then our spring washer, labeled as B, then our flat washer, labeled as C. Screw into place and tighten using our Allen wrench. Once you have both bolts tightened into place, repeat this step using the same hardware with your piece two on the opposite side. After you have two tightened into place, take your piece four, place on top of two and three, and using the same hardware, tighten into place using the Allen wrench. Using six of our screws labeled as J, we'll now attach our bottom panel labeled as 10. Place 10 inside like so. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, 
tighten one screw into each of the six holes. Using your four dowel rods labeled as E, place one into each of the four holes around the top of your base. Then, using your two cam locks labeled as G, place one in each hole on the side, making sure your arrow is pointed up. Now, using our two pegs labeled as H, and the threads in the back of our hull tree, we're going to tighten into place using our Phillips head screwdriver. Be sure not to over tighten to avoid stripping out the threads. Now slide your base and your back together, pressing the dowel rods in the holes and the peg into the cam lock. Once you have all of it snug together, take your Phillips head screwdriver and twist your cam locks to the right to lock into place. Now take your other panel eight. We're going to attach our base and our hull tree back together by using our hardware, these screws labeled as K. Place one into each of the eight holes and using a Phillips head screwdriver, tighten into place. Now we're gonna attach our lid labeled as seven. To do this, start with two dowels labeled as F and place in the two holes in your base. Then with the two holes, on your piece seven, place through the dowels also. Now take your four remaining hardware's eye, place one of each screw into each of the four holes in the bottom of the base and up through to the lid. Screw into place using a Phillips head screwdriver. Next we'll attach our lid lift or part zero. Using our small screws labeled as L, we're going to attach first our bottom support and place the screws through the pre-drilled holes in the base and also our top support into the lid. Tighten the screws into place using your Phillips head screwdriver. Snap your piece zero onto your supports. Finally, we'll put our hooks on our wall tree. We're gonna line the holes up on the wall tree with the holes in the hook. And using our hardware, these little screws labeled as M, we're gonna tighten into place using our Phillips head screwdriver. And after you tighten in all of your hooks, you'll have your finished haul tree.